I'm polishing, aren't I? It's not polishing day. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. You know what day it is? What day is it then? It's Peyton the Black Day. Oh. On the Volvo. Well, it's a good job I sanded that back, back panel ready to go. <laughs> what do you mean you sanded it? That's all me, mister. Right, today on Whiteland Restorations, we are going to be painting the black surround around the windows and down to here. And if you have a look around here, we're going to be painting the back of the Volvo black as well. Monica's back. She's back. And badder than ever. <laughs> Bad? How could anything that? Awesome, be bad. Badass. Badass. So we're gonna we're gonna paint the black on the car from there to there, as Leanne just said on the opposite side. So Stage first one. thing you've got to do when you're doing this is you've got to make sure you're happy with your door alignment. Because obviously if if your doors aren't aligned properly and you've painted it black, it's gonna look odd. What, when you, when you align, align the doors them up properly. and then your black's all wonky? Yeah, yeah. Right, so we have done that stage. We done have stage. aligned the doors. And they're nice. Oh, they're lovely. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Next stage, super easy. Fine line tape. Why do they call it fine line tape? Because the line is super fine. Oh, that comes mm. in different thicknesses as well. All sorts of different sizes. Very good stuff. Very good there? for, for um, bending round shapes as well. Yeah, it's, it's super cool because you can put it on something and you can literally make flames if you wanted to. Oh my god, look at that. How cool. I love you it. could paint that <laughs> and um, yeah. That's, is that how they do pinstriping? It is how they do pinstriping. Right, anyway, let's have a look at what we are going to do. So I'm going to bring you over here. Let me readjust. Right. Sucker. <laughs> Ignore the inside of the car, we are still sorting that out. It's not dirty, don't look. No, no, there's nothing in there. What's... Gingerbread. That's not mine. Oh, honestly. Stage one. Let's Choose your line. Choose your line. So we decided already we're going to come off of this line here and follow this swage line. So, sort of. So, find your starting point and just tack it on then you've got to kind of sight line it down and stick as you go um, try not to pull the tape too much because it can distort the shape can't it, can, it? Yes. don't ask me how I know that it just does also don't be afraid to to unpick it if you're not happy with the line you've chosen just yeah. pull it back again and start afresh gonna look good isn't it yep yep so all the masking is done around the doors let's have a little look you see nice bucket you're gonna have a look it's all masked up to the fine line tape we're gonna paint 
all the black around these window edges and also don't forget the Volvo butt cheeks down there very important they've got to be painted haven't they Lauren yeah yeah so what do you think so far I think it looks pretty good pretty good it does look pretty good it does look pretty good yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right I think somebody needs to mix some black paint Check out his lovely Whiteland Restoration branded socks available a, in our merch store. What a lovely catalogue foot that is. It is a catalogue foot, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> but loads of merch available in our shop. Shop. It is, um, go to whitelandrestorations.com and check out the merch go button. Go to the merch button. It'll take you to the merch store. Mm, where you can buy merch. Merch. Yeah, it helps us out loads. Socks. T-shirts. <laughs> Hoodies. Hoodies. Mugs, stickers, mugs, all sorts. Stickers. We'll have to take a pause there for a second. Because you never guess what? What? We've only just had a delivery. No. Yeah, from Germany. From Germany? You never guess from who? Who's in Germany? This is from Germany. Ooh. Ooh. How to tear down a Volvo 240 door. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be happy with that. Look at these door cards. They are absolutely perfect. Dog for scale. <laughs> uh, we can't thank you enough. No. Sledge. No. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna work with our interior plans perfectly. I mean, we've looked high and low for a bloody dark set of door cards. We have, yeah. Have not been rotten. Yeah, the, the, all the door cards in the UK are rotted yeah. out. These are really nice and solid. So, thank you again, Mr. Sledge. Oh, we will... Please watch Involvode's channel. Yeah, yeah, watch Involvode. Go over to Involvode, check his channels out, watch his stuff. He's very entertaining. Give him a subscribe, thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. I mean, yeah. it doesn't cost anyone nothing. And it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth every penny of nothing. <laughs> every penny of nothing. I'm no, just... seriously. It's, 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 you, you, you get some good stuff. You get some good stuff. Okay, so before Lewis starts the painting, you have to degrease again. Yeah, the first degrease session I did was with an anti-silicon degreaser. That I did that before the masking. It's quite a slow degreaser, but it um, does get rid of those nasty contaminants. I mean, silicon is a painter's worst nightmare, isn't it? Oh, it's the worst. It's the invisible enemy. It can, it can turn all your loving prep work into the worst paint day you've ever had. And believe me, no <laughs> So that is why any silicon-based products are banned from the workshop. Yeah, sorry Pamela Anderson, but you are. <laughs> right, the next stage is a tack cloth. This is a sticky rag that will help pick up all the last tiny flecks of dirt and crud that you have on the surface. So it's just a quick wipe over and it's done. Picks up all the little bits. Right. right, I have chosen epoxy to do this job um, for many reasons. One, it's super durable. Um, two, it's super durable, and three, can't guess what it is. It's super durable. <laughs> uh, no, because there's some bare metal bits. Although that frame over there is a bare metal bit. It's the whole frame, the original frame for the car. It's all stainless steel and very shiny. Well, not shiny because we had it sandblasted, but it's hard to get stuff to stick to these stainless steel sort of metal. So epoxy. It's going to stick great to that, it's going to do a really good job. It looks good, it's a nice finish, it's a nice sound finish. So we're going to go with epoxy. Kills two birds with one stone yeah. really, doesn't it? Yeah. And it paints all right. It does paint all right. So, so I'm going to leave you now. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Right.
Well, we're back here on a Sunday. But we're back because the black is dried. Yeah, I know. And we can't exciting. wait any longer. <laughs> we need to see it. We need to see it. It is the next day. Um, I don't know. We just. I think we just show you what it looks like. Yeah. Just peel so off this mask in and look at its. Bit of B roll. Bit of B roll. Bit of unmasking. Bit more B roll. And then uh, we'll have a look at. It. I can't wait to show you. It looks amazing. It's gonna be great. You ready? Let's get it. Let's get it on. pretty sick of pushing it around because uh, it's got a welded diff which we will be sorting in a future episode um, so Leanne has rigged up a fuel system over <laughs> don't there. blame me this is quality it's got a filter what more do you want that bottle of fuel filter going into the pump it should be all right uh, yeah we haven't started this uh, for a long time so you might remember the episode why. when we took the tank off and forgot we had no tank and yeah. it conked out. I don't see why it won't start. No, it should start. And, uh, here's a fire extinguisher. Thanks. Okay. Fire extinguisher at the ready. <laughs> oh, how exciting. This is the first I don't even know if there's juice in the battery. No, I don't know, actually. Don't forget the choke. Yeah. Plenty of choke. Bumblebee in here! <laughs> 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 
Bobo King. <laughs> right, we've brought the car up to the top of the yard to get a good look of it in the sun. And uh, I think I'm going to say that's stage one complete. It's looking quite nice, isn't it? It's looking amazing. I mean, just look at that. Look at that body line. How awesome does that look? Does it not? Oh, look, and the black, it just really sets out the sides, doesn't it? And I'm really loving these Lotus wheels. When the, when the suspension's lowered, that's going to be super mean. They look very good. Very good. Look at the back panel looking bloody awesome. Mmm. Nope. Really happy with that. There's one thing left to do. Put it back in the shed. <laughs> no, now it's at this point. What I'd like to do is put it back together, get an MOT on it, and um, drive it around like a rolling restoration. Well, from this point, we can tinker at it every day. It's every just day, a yeah. Bit every day. A little bit every day. We've still, a, we've still got a long way to go. I know it looks mostly done. There's still a lot of trim bits we need to paint. Yes, the door handles and door locks handles, and the chrome inserts around the windows. We don't really want them in chrome. We want them in black. We want so them in black. All of that lot. We're going to paint all of that and um, new face. New face. We've got new headlights coming. Yep. New quad lights, American style. So. We're going to try and find some LED bulbs to go into them and... Yeah, sealed units. Mm. A little bit every day and it'll be back together before we know it. Right, let's get it in. Let's get it back in the shed. Before we lose all our power steering fluid. Yeah. It's still on the button. It's still on the button. Make sure it's got brakes. Is Make sure it's got brakes. Yeah. It wants to stop itself. Well, the diff is horrific. Film that. Right, I'll let you get your side in. That sounds like some image. Oh, the bottom one's going to be a bit That's more interesting. Okay. Where's my hole? <laughs> Maybe I should have done the bottom one first. <laughs> oh, there it is. But it's come to you a touch. There we go. Behaving now. It's a satisfying noise. <laughs> today. Right, if you could lift it all the way to the top and not nip it up because I got the wrong size spanners. Oh Lewis, <laughs> what size spanners? Twelves. Twelves. Which one do you want? 
How much are we nipping them? Just till it holds itself. Yeah. You can breathe again now, Ian. As long as it's holding itself up. I'm leave it there. Okay. I can adjust it myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sweating as well. Yeah, that, that was terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. There's a lot of bonnet and it's a lot of very, very shiny paintwork. It's very heavy. It's a big, yeah. heavy bonnet. And that bonnet got this put me in bed for a week. To read yeah. And that was just sanding <laughs> it. It was wow. a bonnet and a half. It's huge. <laughs> Well, no, thank you very much for that, Ian. I much yeah. appreciate you taking my place for... Uh, no problem. That. And for who didn't notice, Ian came to help fit the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It is back on the car. Yeah, now I can fit the headlights properly. Another step in the right direction. Good, good. Cool.